Welcome back to AP Pre-Calculus in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Topic 2.10 introduces log functions. Now you might be confused because last video we introduced logs, but in that video we introduced log expressions, not functions. The log function looks like this, where of course a cannot equal 0, b has to be positive, and cannot be 1. If you remember back to inverse functions, the way they work is the coordinate points get swapped between the original and the inverse function. Well, log functions are inverse to exponential functions, meaning if an exponential function function has a point at t comma s, the inverse log function of it will have a point at s comma t. And let's look at a log graph. You'll notice it kind of looks like an exponential graph just flipped around, and that's because it is. The logarithmic graph is simply a reflection of the corresponding inverse exponential graph over the line y equals x. Isn't that fun? And it also makes this very easy to teach because you should already know exponential functions well from my previous videos in this unit. Really, if you didn't care to understand log graphs, all you have to do is find the inverse exponential function and you could understand log graphs that way. But don't let me sway your mind, logs are pretty easy to understand after all. But that's a next video problem. On the screen now are some AP style questions for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the work and answers on the screen now. I will see you in the next one.